What's up guys, it's your boy WF and today's video we take a look at an easy consistent chain mover with big play potential. But before we get into that guys, go ahead and subscribe to your boy. If you want the best tips in the Madden community, go ahead and subscribe to your boy. It's real easy. If you want to put the beat them down to your opponents, subscribe to your boy and tune in to my tip videos. So, let's get back into this video real quick. It is... From the Pittsburgh Steelers playbook, the formation is the single back wing stack. This is what the formation looks like. It's a pretty popular formation, but I haven't seen anyone run this play like me. So that's why I'm giving it to you guys. We give you the exclusive, the exclusive, and the play is called Steelers, Steeler Drive. And um, we're just going to take a look at it real quick against uh, the base defense. This is a base offensive formation, base defense, like 4-3. Take a look at uh, cover three sky first. Very easy setup. You take your tight end on the right side of the screen, who is the RB. Um, motion him to the left side. That does a lot of things for, you know, th your run game. But this is obviously a pass. So we're giving that run look with that motion. So that kind of gets the, the defense kind of on guard for the run just off the bat. But we want to have him on motion him to the left. Then we want to audible our B wide receiver. Put him on a uh, hitch. So that's what your route's gonna look like. Then you also want to put your uh, your Y your running back who is on the uh, delay swing. You can block him if you feel like you need extra protection, which I always recommend. So this is what your play will end up looking like. Uh, pretty much what we're going for is at the start of the play, you have two quick seam reads. So if your opponent's blitzing or they just, for whatever reason, aren't covering one of these guys, uh, you're able to hit these guys quick off the line of scrimmage, make them, you know, they can defend everybody at all times. So this gives you a quick alternative if the, you know that presents itself. Then right after that, you have your ex uh, wide receiver ducking underneath. He is a coming underneath. The fact that the your tight ends pushed everyone deep, they have to guard against the seams. It gives an alleyway for the X wide receiver running underneath. Your next read will end up being your B wide receiver. He's on a sit down. You'll see how everything looks. And then your last read will be. Uh, your um your deep play potential with the RB tight end. He may uh depending on what the coverage is, he'll be able to get open deep. And then for whatever reason, if all of that still isn't covered, you come back and check back down to B. So we uh, cover three. I'm just gonna run the whole play, and then we're gonna take a sack, and then we're gonna see what everything unfolds. And I didn't get rid of those icons for the defense, so. That's going to have that floating in the way while we're running the play. But that doesn't matter. Let's take a look at the replay. Just so I can show you everything, what I just talked about in real speed. Your first uh, reads will be the tight ends coming off the line of scrimmage. Just pick one. Doesn't You don't have to focus on both of them if you don't, if you don't have the ability to. Just pick one. In this scenario, they're both covered coming off the line of scrimmage. But that allows you to take the underneath with the XY receiver. So more times than not, you have this X Y receiver running open. Hypothetically, let's say someone covers him. Your, your next read will be checking down to this guy right here. And then your last read, if all of that's covered, is your guy running butt naked right here. Let's just throw it in real time speed against the cover three defense. Defense gets pushed back. He able to throw for an easy, consistent throw to X. All right. Let's take a look at a uh, Tampa 2. As you guys can see, same setup on offense. Motion your guy over, block your running back, put the guy on the hitch. This is what the play looks like. I'm going the same reads, same progressions. I'm just going to, you know, take a sack again so you can see how the defense looks. All right, all right, all right. Let's get into this replay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Hit the wrong button. Replay, replay. Come on, guys. Here we go. First read, you're reading the tight ends. that covered off the line of scrimmage. That opens up alleyway to hit the drag underneath, which that is there every day, all day, 
even on Sunday, open like Chick-fil-A. But it isn't Chick-fil-A, so it's open. So you can hit that if you wanted to. Then, again, in the progressions, you move your eyes back over here. Obviously, you would obviously throw the underneath. But for whatever reason, come back here if that's covered. If everything's covered, you still can move your eyes back over here. With this receiver right, with this tight end right here. Like I showed you against cover three. But if everything's covered, move your eyes back here. And then obviously you still got to sit down over here as well. So you got, you got multiple check downs early and late and to go along with the deep passer. So we're going to go back into the cover two. And I'm just going to show you a real time throw. We're going to throw to the, uh, the deep ball. Like I said, this play has deep play potential. So let's show that off to you guys right here. Hopefully my O-line can hold up which is why I opt to block my running back. So the same setup. Um, yeah, we're going to throw to the, the RB tight end. Hopefully he has the wheels to get down the field before I get sacked. And Bucky Hodges, whoever, Duck Hodges, whatever his name is, can't make the throw. But as you see, he was wide open. I'm going to go back in there one more time, see if he can make the throw. But I think I don't want to take another play just to put Roethlisberger in, but as you see, he's wide open. He just, the throw just has to be made. No one's going to make a play on that. So we're going to go back in cover two. Uh, switch to cover two, as you guys can see. Hopefully my, hopefully my man Hodges can make the throw, but like you saw before, the throw's open, bro. It's open. It's just, do you have a guy that can make the throw? Which it isn't a super hard throw to make. Here we go. And McDonald has the easy big play down the field. Like I said before, guys, you have the uh, you have uh, the easy, consistent chain moving options, and you still have big play opportunities. So, the, like I said, run through one more time. Your first reads are going to be the tight ends off the line of scrimmage. You have quite a bit of time to make that read. It's pretty. It's pretty much just a peek throw, really. You see, it's open. Throw it. If not, your read goes down to X. Then it goes to B, which are all. All of these are your consistent chain moving throws, and then RB is your is your um your route that can take the top off the defense for a huge gain like you just saw. But then if that isn't that, you still can come back down to your B and your X wide receiver who's sitting down. Especially your X is gonna sit down in a zone based off his route, and um yeah. So like I said, easy consistent chain mover and a deep ball. So. If you guys like this play, go ahead and thumbs it up for your boy. If you really like to subscribe to your boy, because you know I like to give you guys consistent Madden tips. And, you know, enjoy this play. Add it to your scheme. I'm out.